Hey there everyone, it's Trish from Bird Feed and I'm back today with another shoebox unboxing for Operation Christmas Child Inspiration. This one is a long-awaited collaboration with my very good friend Denise from D. Rogers YouTube channel. Now I know most of you already know and love Denise, but for those of you who are unfamiliar with her channel where she shares everything OCC, I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. So when you're finished watching this video, head on over to Denise's channel to watch hers. In chatting with Denise last year, we realized we were both in the process of collecting for a Bambi themed shoebox, so we've decided to share it with you together today. Other than the theme, which we're calling Bambi and Friends, we don't really know much about what the other has packed, not the contents, the age range, or even the gender for that matter. So it'll be a surprise to all of us. Bambi was one of my favorite Disney classics growing up. It's the story of a young male white-tailed deer and his coming of age including difficult challenges he faces along the way. He grows up, makes friends, falls in love, becomes the great prince of the forest, and protects all the forest animals. It's really a great little story to tell your kids around Easter time. I've always thought that it sort of paralleled the much greater story of Jesus Christ protecting all the children of the world, becoming the great prince of peace, and facing difficult challenges along the way. So as Easter is right around the corner, I think it's a wonderful story in a shoebox for Denise and I to be sharing with you today. I've packed my Bambi and Friends shoebox for an adorable two to four year old girl. As you can see the paper is all the Disney characters, including, oh, let's see, did I cover? I covered up Bambi's face goodness gracious, with my shoebox label. But there's Bambi right there. Let's see if I can find another one. There's Thumper. There's Bambi right there. That, that paper I think I got from Dollar Tree around Christmas time. Inside the lid, I decorated with some Bambi clip art showing Bambi, Thumper, and their friend Flower, and I added the words, Jesus loves you. And when she peeks inside her box, that's what she'll see. The idea of this box started, oh gosh, a couple years ago, I think, when I found Thumper. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I think he's so cute and furry and soft and just perfect for a two to four year old girl. But we can't have a Bambi box without Bambi. So I added a Tidini baby, this little spotted fawn, whose name is actually Whisper, but we'll pretend it's Bambi. So she's got Bambi and Thumper. I always include a coloring book in all my shoe boxes. And this one is a great one. It actually has several Disney stories in it to color, including Bambi. I think Bambi's somewhere in the middle. There it is. Got some great pages to color, and then it also includes 101 Dalmatians, Dumbo, the Aristocats, and I think the Lion King is at the end, yeah. But this one actually has Bambi on the cover with his friend Flower and Thumper. So that one definitely had to go in this shoe box. And I gave her a box of 24 crayons to color in her coloring book. I also gave her a little plain pad of paper just to scribble and draw. She's got a high bounce pinky ball, a set of wrist bells to make some music or noise. She's got some cute wooden block figures to play with. 
and these came from different places. The animals, little fawn that I'm calling Bambi, and the rabbit, which I'm going to call Thumper, even though Thumper's gray. This little pink, pink rabbit is going to fill in as Thumper. And the skunk, it's got to be flower. These three came out of a wooden, a children's wooden puzzle. It was a, in a big wooden frame that was, is too big to put into a shoebox. So I removed these and there were some other pieces that I think I've put in other shoe boxes and um, just put them in this box for her to play with. Then I added some trees since Bambi protects all the animals of the forest given her a little forest. So hopefully she'll have some good imaginative play with those little figures. Then she has a little garden building set that I picked up on Temu recently. And I made a little drawstring bag to put all the pieces in, adding the tag that I got. I think I got this on Shein. Handmade with love. And then on the back, I added by Trish. And I just put a little ribbon in for the drawstring. And the pieces are like this. And this is what it looks like when she can put it together this way or many different ways. I still have to put this yet in the bottom of her box. I think I'm also going to put this one. It tells her other different ways that she can use the pieces but she can build a little garden. She can make the flowers as tall or short as she wants, add some butterflies. It's very cute. And that came from Temu. I also packed for her a little jigsaw puzzle. This one is a little fawn, which reminds me of Bambi. I found this at the Dollar Tree quite some time ago. It's actually a, a photograph of a little baby deer and they've uh, drawn in flowers and little butterflies, which we often see images of Bambi with a butterfly on his nose or his tail. So I think that's why it made me think of Bambi when I saw it. So I just collapsed the original box that the puzzle came in. When I repack the box, it'll go on the bottom. So she'll have a picture of the puzzle to refer to when she's trying to put it together and a place to store her puzzle when she's not playing with it. And then I just left the puzzle in its original plastic bag. Oops, I almost forgot Chelsea. She kind of got knocked to the wayside there when I took out the stuffies. I was able to fit a cute little Chelsea doll on the top of the shoe box and a little sliver between these two stuffies, which is what I find Chelsea perfect for. I use her a lot for that because she fits in all sorts of little nooks and crannies in a shoe box. And she's an adorable little doll to include. This one has a little floral dress, little pink shoes, and I included two little Handmade dresses for Chelsea, sent to me by my friend who I refer to as Sally. A little purple dress with this braid and little rhinestones on it. They're so cute. And one with ladybugs on it. It's a little sundress style. So this little girl will have some changes of clothes for her Chelsea doll. She's got an adorable outfit. Actually, I think I found this t-shirt long before I even found Thumper. Look at the print. Can you see? It's got Bambi and Thumper in it. It's a little Bambi print. I found this on clearance at Kohl's. I paired it with some bright pink shorts that I got on clearance at Walmart for a dollar in a 4T. She's got two pairs of underwear that I just slipped into a little organza bag, some pink ones and some print ones. 
and a couple of pairs of cute socks. <laughs> the skunk was perfect because the skunk represents their friend Flower and a little bunny, which could be Thumper. She's got a cute little necklace and bracelet set that coordinates with her outfit with the pink, yellow, and blue beads and hearts and also the little bracelet. And I think it looks great with her little outfit. I gave her an assortment of accessories that also coordinate with her outfit. A couple of yellow hair bows, because there's yellow in her top. Several colorful butterfly clips. Some very colorful hair elastics. And some barrettes. She's got a couple of hot pink. These are like Barbie barrettes. I think those have Barbie on them. And the metal snap barrettes are from Angie. She sent barrettes last year and I have some of her barrettes left over. She's got a yellow comb and a pink toothbrush with a teddy bear on the handle. I recently picked these up from Tamu. They came in assorted colors and they come with a little cap on them. Very cute. They were inexpensive. And they also have a little um, suction cup on the bottom. Although I don't think the suction cup works very well, to be honest with you. But I don't know that kids really use those anyway. She has a yellow composition notebook for when she starts school down the road. And a yellow pencil pouch filled with an assortment of school supplies from pencils to washable markers, and a big eraser, a couple of pencil sharpeners, and a little scissor. As I mentioned before, whenever I see Bambi, I usually see a butterfly on his nose or his tail. So I included a butterfly lacing card. I have a set of an assortment of different little insects and animals of lacing cards, but they're kind of thick, so you can't fit too many in a shoebox. So I gave her the one with the butterfly on it. I definitely wanted to include the story of Bambi for this little girl. And even if her parent or caregiver doesn't read English, I know this little girl will love looking at these sweet pictures of Bambi and Thumper and Flower and uh, maybe make up her own story. This book came from the Dollar Tree, I believe. She's got several sheets of stickers that she can put in her little plain paper booklet that I've given her. A sheet of forest animals, some Sentos Easter stickers, and My Little Pony. And then the last thing in her box is a tote bag that I made for her. I love this little print. I recently got it at Hobby Lobby after Valentine's Day clearance, 90% off. It was like, I think it's 70, 79 cents a yard. I bought a couple of yards. It's so pretty. And there's no hearts or, well, actually, I think there are hearts. Yeah, there are hearts on it. How about that? But uh, yeah, you wouldn't know that it was necessarily Valentine's Day fabric. And then I lined it with a, a pink gingham. And I put another one of these tags, Handmade with Love by Trish on it. And I just love that for her. So she can tote all her items home or to school later on. So that is my Bambi and Friends shoebox that I've packed for a little girl aged two to four in collaboration with Denise at D. Rogers YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Comment all the things. 
and head on over to Denise at D. Rogers and take a look at what she packed in her Bambi and Friends shoebox. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.